Okay, we are continuing on with inline and block elements. And in this video, we're going to look at how the box model relates to each one of these types of elements. And I put the most common block element here, the div block element, and then two of the most common inline elements, the IMG element and the span element. And what I've done is I've given each of these the same exact attributes. So of course they all have content, right? Some here, the div has some text. Here's the image and here's the span with some text. And then they have the same exact pixel counts in terms of the padding and the margin and the same exact border. And of course that represents our box model right there. So let's make some statements here. The first statement is that both inline and block elements get padding. So we put the padding in here, and as you can see, each one of them has the padding, that area between the border and the text. The IMG element has it too, and the span element has it too. So they all get padding, no problem there. And as we can see, each one has a nice two pixel black border. But then things start to get a little tricky with the margins, and that's where things start to get a little bit weird. And that's basically what you should remember is the margin is where things start to get strange, as I said. Okay, so first I put a 25 pixel margin count. And of course that means it'll go around all of the edges, right? All the sides will have 25 pixels. And if you take a look at the div here, it has that, right? It has it all the way around. So the margin is applied all the way around for a block element. No problems there. Where it gets a little weird is with the inline elements. Now take a look at this span. You'll notice that there's no margin on the top here. There's no margin actually below this either. Now you might be getting confused here. You might say, well, wait a minute. This inline looks like it has a margin below it. And this is actually the line right here. This is the, these guys, all three of these elements are actually on the same line. But you might be asking yourself, well, wait a minute. Why does the image have some margin here, 25 pixels of margin on the bottom and on the top, but it's clear that the inline doesn't. You can see there's no, there's nothing there at the top. There's some on the sides, but there's nothing on the top or bottom. And actually there, um, this is, I just expanded out the browser. So, so really this is, this is how it is. I, since you expand out, the browser automatically puts a uh, margin in. But if I uh, expand this up here, this is the way it, it really is. Now, here's how it works. The IMG inline is kind of a strange inline. It kind of acts like a block element in that it gets a margin all the way around. But the span element only gets a margin on the sides. As you can see here, it plugged in the 25 pixels, but it didn't on the top. So that's the difference. And actually, the way the span works is the way most inline elements work. The margin will be applied on the sides, on the left and the right, but not on the bottom or the top. So the inline, as I said, is a little bit of a strange element. It kind of has attributes of a block in that the margin is applied all the way around in the same way the block element is. But there's yet another subtlety. Now you may have noticed that this is 50 pixels and this is 50 pixels right here. But between these two divs it's only 25 pixels. And you might be asking, well, what's going on with that? Well, the inline IMG element adds up both the margins from both elements. And so it'll take the 25 pixels from this element that's on top, and it'll take the 25 pixels from this element's margin and tally them up together so that we get 50 pixels. A block element does not do that. It will actually cut these in half. So even though both of these block elements had 25 pixels of margin, it'll cut it in half, and therefore we get 25 pixels. Now you might ask, well, what if we had different margins for these two different div blocks? So let's assume that div 1 had 100 pixels, and div 2 kept its 25 pixels. Well, it would throw out the lower margin of the two and take the higher number. So it would be 100 pixels, not 25 pixels. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.